what's going on YouTube? I know y'all got questions about this oil field. Thought I would answer some of the questions that I keep getting. A lot of people want to come out to the oil field now because somebody told them there was a lot of money in the oil field. You know, I don't know who that somebody was. But uh, if you got more than two years of experience, you need to be looking for a minimum of $2,000 a week. But you need to be up more towards that $3,000 a week mark okay if you got less than two years of experience you need to be looking for 1500 a week now if you got less than two years of experience from just reading the comments and uh, reading the comments for a couple of months now you're gonna end up at some company more than likely it's gonna be a mega carrier or if it's not a mega carrier it's gonna be somebody that's gonna put you on a W-2 you need to be looking to gross $1,500 a week. Then after uh, uh, benefits and insurance and child support and, you know, everybody's different. Whatever they got to take out your check, you need to, uh, after all that's taken out the gross, then you probably should be looking to take home. Uh, it's going yeah, to depend on how many uh, dependents you put on the paper, okay? You know, if you put more, if you put like 20 dependents on the paper, then, you know, you're not going to be paying that much in taxes. Maybe uh, here in Tennessee, you probably pay like $80 and put 20 dependents on that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? They're only going to take out like $77 a week. But I know y'all ain't doing it. Y'all probably putting like one dependent, two dependents, something like that, okay? So they're going to be taking out like $300 out of that 1500 okay? I'm not no tax expert. I don't know nothing like that. It. It's just... I had got offered me a W-2 position. I had to uh, do some calculations. And I figured if I put like 20, 25, depends on that bitch. <laughs> my taxes, I wouldn't have all this money coming out of my taxes, okay? Because me, I don't I don't need no tax refund at the end of the year. I need my money as I make it. So, you know, uh, I don't want no tax refund. I don't, I, don't, I don't even play in that game. I don't even like paying taxes, okay? That's why I don't pay taxes. I just keep all my money, do my thing on the side, and if they send me a letter, we get it taken care of, okay? But uh, now if you're 1099 now, if you're 1099, you know, everybody's different now. Everybody's different, you know. You're going to have to pay some taxes in the oil field because you ain't going to have too many write-offs. You know, I got that issue right now. I'm going to have to pay some taxes. You know what I'm saying because Andrew made some money and Andrew ain't got all them damn right. I was, I was trying to figure out how to write. What's with these phone calls today, boy? I was trying to figure out how to write off this, uh, find a way to write something off up in here. You know, I can write off office expenses, but I was trying to figure out a way to make it seem like I'm paying some type of, uh, I guess like a lease payment to, just so I can just write this whole thing off as like office expenses. I just ain't figured out how to do it. I know I can write off, you know, it. Uh, I know I can write off a portion of the house as, as like office space or something like that. But I'm not too familiar with all that just yet. I'm learning, okay? Now, uh, as far as the companies, uh, y'all know my, my, my company that I'm still working with. I quit, but I ain't really quit. What that means is the truck broke down. And, of course, I'm out of work right now, so technically, you know, I don't know how long it's going to take them for to fix that truck, but technically I can just be in somebody orientation next Monday or this coming up Monday now, right? And, uh, you know, I'm 1099. I'm an independent contractor, so, you know, I made the decision because I'm, I'm the CEO of my own company, right? If I want to go to orientation on Monday, it's, I go to orientation on Monday. New message received. off but uh, I only worked with one oil field company since I've been out in the oil field uh, I'm not going to tell you the company but uh, it was a real good company when I first got there all the way up until December it was probably the best company in the oil field uh, we didn't have the highest rates but we had unlimited work and uh, you know we um, we weren't playing the e-log game I'm just I thought I was gonna play an e-love game. Just start. I throw it out there. You know, I know. I know everybody. 
Everybody love them elos. I, I know, I know, I know. I just I throw that out there. We wouldn't play an elo game, but December came, and you know all of y'all here to uh, not all of y'all, but ninety percent of the trucking industry got put on elos, except one company. I throw that out there. Just. Uh, I, I don't remember recalling me playing the e-log game in December. But as y'all know, in Mars, the e-log just kind of showed up in a truck, the e-log device. And, you know, they, they was trying to get us to play the e-log game uh, into April, I think April 1st. Uh, somewhere in April, we got everybody got to be on the e-log game. So uh, I don't really play the e-log game. Uh, my company, they didn't want the e-logs at all. The only reason they had to do it is because we cross into New Mexico. That's it. This company is in Texas. They're not going to be playing the e-law game until 2019, okay? They they got extensions and shit like that that you ain't never heard of to where they own paper laws until like 2019 of December or some shit, okay? How do I know? Because uh, first you can just Google it, right? The 2019 December Texas only paper law, whatever it's called. You can find it on Google. But uh, I got companies that only run in Texas, around the Midland area. That's uh, paper log only, okay? Now, if I switch companies, what would I be looking for, okay? I would be looking for a company that, that don't have anything to do with sandbots. Why? Because sandbots don't pay more than a pneumatic, okay? Secondly, I would be looking for a company... They still offer the same home time. Because I'm going to get my week off in the oil field. <laughs> I'm going to get my week off. Uh, you know, I think with Mega Carriers, like Knight Swift Prime, you know, the OTR Mega Carriers, I think a lot of them carriers can be a lot better with home time if they offer the same schedule as we get offered in the oil field. Man, if you could run for like three weeks at a time, get one week off, or four weeks at a time, get a week off, it would be beautiful, man. It, it, I, I think that's... How the whole entire trucking industry should be. You know, now that I've been doing it, I man, I just couldn't go back to making curious. Thinking about it, it's like, damn, I was never home. No, I wasn't never home. I got YouTube videos. I can see I was never home. You know what I'm saying? But uh, you know, this this home time schedule, man, you can't beat it, man. And here I come home for a whole week, man. Sometimes some of us can take up to two weeks off, depending on how long we stay out there. But um. I come home and I can find other ways to make income and shit. Like for example, I'm uh, give me a second. I go find something. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, I'm back. But uh, got this paper in the mail. Not in the mail. I got somebody to go get it for me. But uh, how do I find properties here in Memphis? Well, right here you got the uh, Shelby County Land Bank, and pretty much it's uh, it's just a, a long list of um. Uh, Pretty much houses, um, houses, land, commercial property, things that the government own that they um, they can't sell because they nobody got no damn money. So they pretty much um, they they got addresses and shit addresses and goddamn it prices on them, <laughs> you know. But uh. Let me see if I can show y'all what I'm talking about. So, like, for example, you see the prices of things over here. Then it's got, like, addresses somewhere right in here. I think that's the address. Not too sure because I can't see. But somewhere in there is the address. And it tells you what you're buying. Pretty much you just go look at the address. And if you got the money, you know. You just buy the shit. Like, it's a house right across the street. It's got bullet holes and busted windows and the goddamn ceiling falling apart. It's $1,500. Three bedrooms. You know. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting the bitch just to turn to my YouTube studio. <laughs> this is, right, like, right across the street. And, uh, yeah, the house I'm in now, it did not look like this when we first got it. I know it looked good now, but that's because we actually had money to fix it. But, yeah, I'm, you know, stuff it. But uh, it didn't look like this. Don't mind me not cleaning shit up, but you know, obviously the walls and shit have been painted and fits. You know, I know it's pretty big. 
Believe it or not, man, these people in the hood, boy, they be having that the, the TV is trash. So don't ask me why it's a damn tie in my house, man. See, I be asking too many. Let me go back over here, man. Don't be at no Andrew ain't out. God damn it, putting people cars on blocks and shit, taking their tires. I wouldn't dare do some crazy shit like that. Let me get some drink, boy. I didn't say it too much. Ran out of drink. Still get a sip though. Anyways, anyways, but yeah, that's uh how we uh shop for property out here in Memphis. But it comes with um it's like I don't know forty some pages front and back, but vacant lots, houses. They got land lock on here, commercial property. You know, like for example, when I did that video at the uh, Payless store, that was one of the properties that was on here, man. They just can't sell the shit. Don't nobody got the money. They just, the government just won't tax money off of it. That's all it is. They can't, they can't sell it. So, if he, they figure if somebody bad, they can at least charge them taxes for it. So that's all it is, you know. But I mean, the most I see on here is five thousand dollars for some shit. And it's for a vacant lot. When it says vacant lot, you got to drive down there to see what's on the lot. It could be a commercial property on there. It could be a house. could be empty. You just got to go to the address to see what's there. But, you know, real estate in, 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 the, in the hood is just cheap as hell, you know. Uh, you, can, you can damn near buy the whole block for probably like $10,000. But, you know, uh, anyways, back to the oil field. So, yeah, things I'm looking for. I'm looking for a company that's not going to hold my check or two weeks before I get paid. So like my particular company, they hold two weeks check and then I get paid on the third week. So that means, what does that mean? I got to work the first week, no paycheck. Second week, no paycheck. Then the third week, that's when I'm going to finally get that first paycheck. Okay, like for example, I'm sitting at the house. The damn company owed me $3,200. So I get paid. I didn't get paid last Friday. Why? Because I was on home time. The last time I was on home time, that's that check right there. Zero, well, that was two hundred some dollars. I, I turned in a load, but uh, this week I'm gonna get paid. Then the next week I'm gonna get paid. Then I think on twenty first we're gonna get that YouTube check. So we got we got some money coming in. You know what I'm saying? Just saying, just coming in. It's just taking a long time to come in because they're two weeks old. So the next company, we not we not playing the whole game. Uh, they can hold one week's check. That's it. <laughs> two weeks, this is too much. A lot of y'all coming out to the oil field, y'all gonna have the same issue. A lot of these companies, they hold two weeks check, two weeks payback before you get paid. And I understand a lot of y'all ain't got, y'all can't survive that long, man. I, I know how it is. Uh, I understand, okay? I know truck drivers got bills and it's hard to save. I wouldn't recommend coming out here. If you try and get, if you try and make the most amount of money, it would be best for you for you to just stay at the job you at and try to save like two thousand dollars. Then come out here with that. That way you can afford them the hotels for orientation, the rent a car, Uber, the food. Then you gotta go three weeks before you get your first paycheck. You, you, you need money, man, or you can just do a credit card. But I recommend the cash first, cause a lot of y'all. Not so good with credit, man. A lot of people got collections and things. I wouldn't, I would hold off on the credit. Just use the cash and, and you know, when you get to the oil field, start to pay back, start pay, pay down the bills, you know. Uh, if you get into a decent credit union, like the one I got, Navy Federal Credit Union, you know, maybe you can take out a loan for uh, debt consolidation, bring that damn 20% interest rate credit card down to like 5% or 3%. You know, I'm not sure what the what, what Navy Federal even offers as far as uh, interest rate goes on them type of loans. I never did that before, so I don't know. But I'm, I know it's low. <laughs> it's not 20 some percent, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, the student loans, you got to pay that back. I know I know people that's up to $100,000 is on YouTube. There's fleet owners. $100,000 in, in student loan debt. You know, but they fleet owners, so... Technically, they can pay it. They can finally pay it down. Uh, 
you know. I, I'm talking about, I know, I, I ain't going to say how many trusts they got, but they, they, they out there. Okay. But they make enough money to pay it down. That's a good thing if, they, if, if it's not already paid off, you know. When I found out about it, they was company drivers, so, you know. Uh, but there's people out there that's like that, man. You just don't miss a payment, okay? And for God's sake, don't be trying to trying to do the do like my friend, trying to wait ten years and they'll forgive your loan just because you're a nurse. You gonna you you wanna pay I think his his minimum payment is five hundred a month. Five hundred a month. And he talking about waiting ten years. Woo, he gonna be broke a long time, boy. Woo. Damn it, boy. The good news is he can always get a CDL. Yeah, I know he went to school for nursing and he only making like sixty thousand a year, but you know CDL. You know I'm just saying. You know, I heard I, I heard some people are kind of starting off at sixty thousand dollars a year. You go to the right company when you first get your CDL. You know, that was a time when you can go to CR England make a goddamn hundred thousand dollars your first year. Y'all remember that time when you can go to CR England? You all you had to do was be a, a, a truck driver, a company driver for three months. After three months, they let you train, and they used to let you train not more than not just one student. You could have two, three students in that motherfucker training them, making a whole lot of money. But I don't think CR English still do that anymore. That was back in the day, boy. That was back. You might still watch YouTube videos of uh, trainers from from what was that like 2014, 2015, 2013, where, where CR England was pulling that crap. After three months, boy, you was a trainer. You were making a hundred thousand dollars. You had one student in the past to seat, one sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Or two sleeping, making the killing, boy. But I don't think CR England. Now CR England still pay low, but you know, training is is a different pay scale. I don't know anything about the training pay scale over there. They may still do it. You know, they may have just increased it instead of three months. You gotta have six months. I mean, I don't know. I just know what it was back then when, when, when C.R. England and Swift was just corrupt to the core, you know. It was, it was all about the money, you know. But um, I done got all off subject. I'm up to 17 minutes, boy. All off subject. I was supposed to be cleaning the house up, taking out the trash and shit. Anyways, uh, so yeah, no no two we told for me. Uh, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. I got off of one job. But I said, if I take this damn job, YouTube gonna be laughing at me forever. They offered me the latest, greatest shoe shine. I ain't gonna say the company. 2018 Volvo 780 flat top. Uh, brand new trailer. Uh, uh, it's got a sinker now. You know, it's got the table and all that. All the shoe shine. It's, yeah, it's got a real sinker now. You can wash your hands in now. Uh, you know. It's the latest, greatest shoe shine, but they guarantee a minimum of two thousand dollars a week, and it's W two. Uh, and I got a friend that's uh, his first paycheck. He just texted me, told me it was twenty two hundred. It's the oil field too, you know. They got and it's all automatic trust too, except the uh, they got Peter built. I think that's the only thing that's uh, not automatic. I think he says it's a super tier or something like that. Uh, brand new. 389, I think he said. But, uh, you know, I don't know. It's kind of hard for Andrew to uh, go back to W2, man, because Andrew's a business owner now. You know, it's, like I said, I could put 20 dependents on that motherfucker <laughs> and uh, still have the money and get direct deposit into the bank account, the business bank account. But uh, I don't know about that, man. I don't know. Because then I got to shine shoes again and. and it's not the highest paying job I'm being offered. It's just the fact that they got all this brand new, latest, greatest shoe shine. And, you know, he got, I got to show y'all some pictures, man. Maybe in the next video, I'm going to include some pictures so y'all can see what I'm talking about. Uh, can I do it in this video? This video too damn long, man. It'll be all day before I can, fuck it. I, I, I put it at the end, man. I'll let y'all see the pictures. And if you recognize the company, don't say shit because, damn it. We only got three more companies to choose from. We can make all this damn money. Hey, you know, yeah, the, the suit and tie guys are doing everything they can to take the money out the oil field. Now, if you had a company right now, you want to know why your paychecks may be low. Understand that it is a, a sand shortage going on uh, up in Canada, and they can't get all the railroad 
trains down to Texas. So uh, I noticed y'all may have may notice Black Mountain and some of these places are running out of sand. Well, that's why it's a sand shortage. Apparently, it's been going on since February. Uh, you should be able to Google it because I did. Go to Google, type in frat sand shortage. You should see it somewhere right now. You know, whole article on it. But I ain't gonna hold y'all up. What else? Maybe I can say one more thing. What else is Andrew uh, trying to avoid at the new company? Like I said, the two weeks hold is number one. Still need my home time. Uh, no more sandbox. You know, I don't even want to compete with somebody. I don't even want to have the thought of having to go back to sandbox, okay? Uh, I'm not saying that sandbox don't pay good. At my company, it don't pay good. <laughs> At my company, okay? My company... This is what happened in my company, from what I understand. I put the video on the end of this. Let another driver tell y'all. But basically, the rates was... Apparently, the rates was good when I first started doing sandbots. I didn't know what the rates was at all. I didn't, you know, I didn't know what... I didn't know nothing about a rate sheet until I switched to pneumatic. But apparently, the rates was good. And he got ready to sign a new contract. And, and he did something funny with the paperwork and got a 50% pay cut for a whole for a whole year i don't know how it happened i maybe i include that video yeah your lower start getting hot you know i didn't know that i never had that happen before because i, I never it. blew off for freaking three four hours but there's a heat plug on here and it's and when it gets high it's supposed to pfft, vent some of that heat right but good feet man how long you been driving here for uh one year next month yeah, we used to have another crew called Outlaw right before you started. You got the Outlaw. And uh, they got rid of that one because it was in a bad location. Like the Outlaw Talk world about before. Huh? Talking about that Orla? Yeah. Were you here? I was doing, I did, I've been here eight months, but I was doing sandbox. Oh, you was here eight months? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I was doing sandbox for the first seven. I didn't know nothing about pneumatic. Yeah. Until somebody told me it paid more. That's yeah. all I needed to know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sandbox did pay better at first, but then they redid all the rates. Oh, uh, did they? Yeah, it was paying a lot better at first because a lot of us, I didn't go, but a lot of us went there and then they dropped the rates and then they came back here. I didn't know that. But yeah, man. See, I've never seen the rate sheet for the uh, side. Sand. Oh, okay. It was different at first. And then they said that they uh, made a mistake on the um, mileage. So they redid it and it just, it wasn't no good. And then they started well for on our project they started charging us for the trailer at first it was free because Halliburton gives that the trailer free. free yeah so that's another thing so people just like well they charge 100 100 a week five percent which Man, is like five hundred dollars yeah it was about five hundred dollars or something like that but uh but yeah the Orla well was 300 stages that one lasted for like four months <laughs> Three hundred stages. Yeah, it lasts for like four months. But the thing is that a lot of our guys kept refusing to go back over there because the lease road was really bad. Oh uh, yeah. And then the very next one was in the same area. They just moved it from over here to over there. Mm -hmm. And they was like, oh no, nah, fuck that. Because people was refusing. People got fired over that place. They said, I, I refused to go back. And said, okay, we'll send you to a Kepler well. I don't do a Kepler well either. Well, if you can't do a helper well, if you do this well, there's too many trucks on the orange well. I mean, if you don't want to work, you know, you're fired. Okay, fine, I quit. And then, you know, people's hey. trailer axles breaking because the, you know, right, the banging, the ground. Yeah, axles breaking. So I ain't going back. Okay. And then PTO drive lines falling off because they're just moving around like that and shit like that and just different stuff. People say, another person, I ain't going back. <laughs> it's just people just kept refusing to go back. So, when whenever that one closed or ended, they went up the road. They was like, oh no, because at one point we had nine or ten different helper companies out there. We like, got none now. Do we even we do we any helpers at all? Yeah, if we uh, need them. Orangewell had Lindig at the very end of it, but they they trying to keep from doing helper wells because Caliburn gonna be like, well, if y'all can't handle what y'all got, then maybe y'all should go down on the one, you know? Oh, right, so right. they're trying to keep from calling helper crews out now, but that well had like nine or 10 different helper companies out. Nobody wanted to sign in or sign out. Nobody wanted to wear PPE. Nobody wanted to follow rules. People fighting, 
you know, it was real crazy, man. It got crazy out there, man. Yeah, I know that. Yeah, it got real crazy. Because people know they'll, that they're a, a helper company, and they they thinking, oh, I can get away with this because they don't know who I am. Right. You know, and that, and I, on top of that, the reason we dropped them is because they did mainly uh, Chevron wells. I don't know if you ever did a Chevron well. Just like this company here is a uh, newborn. Uh huh. We were doing like Chevron wells, and they're real nitpicky about everything. I think Chevron. I think that's who we were doing sandbox with. Cause Chevron is oil, quick though. to kick people off, quick to fire people, and everything. Like if we on a staging pad way out there, and we want to go and use the restroom, they want us to be in full uniform PPE. Right. And then if they backing you up. If you look at your trailer, they'll get up here and yell at you, go ahead and kick you out and shit. It, yeah, if you drive too fast on the lease road, they'll try to kick you out. All kind of shit, man. Was if you don't sign out, they would, they would threaten. I almost got kicked out, man.